Have you been playing Minecraft for so long that even hardcore gets a little boring? Regular survival is great, but over and over again, it can get pretty tedious. Well, luckily for you, over the course of the last year and a half, I've played tons of different challenges and mods to change the game up and make it interesting again. So, I'm gonna go over my top 10 ways to brew up a brand new Minecraft journey for you. If you want to see more from these mods or ideas, I'll have links to all of the videos on them in the top right hand corner for you to click on and look into them more. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below of what your favorite game mode was. And without further ado, let's hop straight into number 10. For number 10, try going back to old versions of Minecraft. You'll be surprised by how many things have changed over the years and how you can take these changes for granted. I brought it all the way back to beta for my playthrough, but I'd suggest going back to the full release of Minecraft. Beta was very buggy and there weren't a lot of things in the game to make the world feel complete, but going back to Minecraft 1.0 or even 1.5 will drastically change the game. Take things slow, make a little hidey hole in the side of a cave, and smelt up pork chops while waiting for the night to pass. It's the little things of the game that have been lost to time as the game has sped up significantly. On to number 9, try out Tropicraft. This is one of the most recent mods I made a video on and it was a ton of fun. Besides the fact that there is constant harassment by poison dart frogs, he's attacking me in my own home. Is nothing sacred, you loser. Oh no! There's tons of new blocks and awesome new biomes to explore, like volcanoes and massive trees with tribal creatures on top of them. You can make a scuba suit and explore the bottom of the ocean, or dive into a volcano for some crazy adventures. It keeps the base Minecraft vibe, but this vibrant new dimension feels amazing to explore. The sea level's already screwing them over, we gotta take care of climate change. Oh, it's, it's raining! No, it's raining! The sea level's gonna rise! They're so screwed, the sea level's gonna rise! Oh! 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 What are you? Go away from me! Go away! Oh, I'm so dead. Die! Oh! Dude, when I hit him, his hat fell off. That was terrifying. Oh! Oh my god, frog. Okay, I should have killed you. I didn't even see you. Oh, dude, this is dope. This is... This is the worst ship! This is such a... <laughs> Coming in at number eight. Try swapping your worlds with a friend. Now, if you're like me, I don't have a lot of those, but if you can find someone who's willing, it's a great switch up. You can do it at intervals or whenever you want, but having someone else build on your world can make a world of difference. See what I did there? Anyways, combining your creativity with someone else's makes you think differently about how you approach problems and how you build. You end up with a world full of crazy builds and structures, plus a ton of amazing memories. Why'd you make a house out of slime? <laughs> I suppose that makes sense, that's what you're supposed to do. Alright, number seven. Install a mod or plugin that makes you only have half a heart. I did this on Hardcore, but I would definitely suggest not. It makes for some crazy intense situations and adds a whole new layer of difficulty. There's not too much else to say, so let's go straight into number six. Everyone has tried out Skyblock, but have you tried one block? It's a simple map that is pretty similar to Skyblock. Every time you mine this one block, it gives you different resources. At first, it's grass or wood, but as you progress, you'll get ores or chests. Skyblock is really fun, but I get tired of building out of cobblestone and wood. That looks awesome. Dude, I'm so happy with how it turned out. So it helps change that up. You can get pretty much any block in the game and harvest it to build with. However, it can also spawn animals or monsters. So it's pretty good for getting plenty of pigs and cows. I have the temptation okay. to just bump it. Twist it. <laughs> Pop it. <laughs> but you also do have to worry about a gas popping up and blowing you off the world. Oh, oh, we gotta kill these fast. I need help. These are two Vindicators. Oh, I'm no, so low. I'm low. It even adds a way to go to the end to complete the game. Definitely suggest trying out one block. Dolphin! Dolphin! Get him water! Get him water! Get him water! Get him water! Get water down. Okay, okay. How are we doing this? I am dying while you're feeding pandas! Yeah, that's okay. You made the dinosaur. You can handle it. Look at them. Make an iron pickaxe. Do we have iron? Where? In the chest that has the iron ingot on the front of it. Oh my god, Daniel! You mined out of your bad boy hole, and now the dolphin's out. Yes, you did! You had 100% involvement in Gerald's death because you broke that block. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. No. Next to number five, an old classic called the Aether. Everyone's heard of it, so it's nothing new. 
but if you haven't played it for yourself and have just watched videos on it, uh, you're missing out. You absolutely have to play this mod. There are plenty of different new mobs and dungeons that are nothing like anything in Minecraft. Progress through the dungeons to get better loot, tame new friends like bunnies or birds, craft tools that have different abilities based on the ore used. All of these things just make Aether different and the best kind of different. There is work on the Aether 2, and while it looks phenomenal, it's not quite finished yet. It's currently just an empty world without any dungeons, so I would suggest playing the Aether 1. But once it gets done, I will immediately make a video out of it because it's truly something special. Number four, if you've been on my channel recently, you'll recognize this one, Mine Colonies. This fantastic mod is simple in nature, but it adds a whole new vibe to the game. You can create your own town and progress how you'd like. Want to start by getting a militia going? Build some guard towers. Maybe you want to produce a ton of food and resources. Look no further than the lumberjacks and the farms. Your citizens will do everything for you. Before long, you'll have a massive expanding town that stretches across the land, with everything being automated and you just get to sit back and watch your kingdom expand. Definitely recommend you check this one out. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's loads of them. There's so many, what happened? I don't know. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Don't do it. Just run. What is going on? What is happening? Oh, it's a thunderstorm. Some mobs oh can spawn. That's oh why. To... Oh, that scared me so much. <laughs> <laughs> they died. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is They're happening? Dying. Why is... This is the hardest nether I've ever been in. And it's... We're not even fighting, like, mobs that are not normal. This is just <laughs> ghasts. Uh, uh, come here, I see them. They're kind of uh, just like sitting ducks in the water, though. You could just destroy yeah. them with your bow. <laughs> Dude, this bow man is actually obnoxious. Try, try and get up close to him. To number three. This is the oldest challenge in Minecraft, the 404 challenge. Originally, it comes from back in alpha days when all you had to do was type in 404 into the seed and it generate a world with a massive expanding cave right next to where you'd spawn. Your goal is to collect everything you can on the surface and by nightfall, you hop into the cave and uh, never leave. It sounds like it can be pretty boring, but with all of the advancements in the game's content since Alpha, there's a ton you can do, but I'll let you explore that one for yourself. On to number two. Oh, we are getting close to number one. Anyways, you need to check out Better Minecraft or the Stay True mod pack. Both of these mod packs are oriented about keeping the original style of the game while adding tons of other features to explore and to do. Plenty of dungeons, villagers to befriend, dragons to tame. The whole world is your oyster in this new land of Minecraft, but you'll still feel like you're playing Minecraft. Dude! The melons look like melons! <laughs> Say that one again, but slowly. The melons look like melons. Oh my god, there's a pirate ship! There's a pirate there's ship! There's a pirate ship! There's a, I'm on the pirate ship! Kill him! Steal their loot! Enjoy every second of it! Oh, <gasps> oh my god. Here we are, number one. And it's quite a simple idea. Design your own world. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. That's the whole idea of Minecraft in the first place, but hear me out. Download this super simple program called World Painter. There's tons of tutorials online about how to use it, and it only takes an hour or so to create massive mountains, or an ever-expanding desert, or a huge jungle. Just check out my desert survival video if you want to see it in action. That map was built in about an hour, and I had every ounce of control in how it was created, from the mountains separating the world from the rivers expanding through it, to the coastline, to the massive oasis in the middle. I promise you, adding just a little extra work before you even load into the game will completely change how you play it and add so much more enjoyment to it. And that's it, all 10 ways to make Minecraft fun again. I hope you learned something new and I hope that you'll give some of these a try. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below which one is your favorite. Thanks for watching.